In the 1930s, there was another America first movement, sort of isolationist movement saying we mustn't go to war in Europe again after, after the First World War. Do you think that those America first supporters then were right? Do you think that America shouldn't have gone into that Second World War? Yeah, and, and that is a radical statement. Candace Owens had some questionable things to say about World War II and the United States' involvement in World War II. Sam Cedar and Emma Viglund of the Majority Report broke this down. I'm going to chime in here and there with my thoughts on this. So let's take a look at what the Majority Report and Candace Owens had to say about this. What should we do here? Oh, uh, should we talk about how Candace Owens seems to be... Um... Yeah, let's do that. You know, Candace Owens got in trouble some time ago she said you know hitler uh got the nationalism part right mm -hmm. you know hitler's nationalism ended up uh, probably killing uh millions of people both in war and uh, through uh, an extermination program of jews who he felt were sort of tainting the national uh genetic pool and blood quote if hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well okay fine the problem is he had dreams outside of Germany he wanted to globalize he wanted everyone to, to be German so and now the first thing that I would say here is I don't understand why these pundits like Candace Owens why they talk about Hitler at all and try to spin something about Hitler in a positive way well you know he was a bad guy but he did this that was good I don't understand the logic of doing that because it's going to do nothing but make you appear to be sympathetic to Hitler, which I don't think any rational person wants to have that label of being sympathetic, sympathetic to Hitler and Nazis and Nazi Germany. I should just say, for those people who don't know the most rudimentary um, history of the arguably the greatest conflict we've had in the planet's history, um, the stuff that happened inside of Germany, also not good. It wasn't no. about declaring everybody Germans. <laughs> Basically, she's admitting that, like, yeah, the rounding up of Jews, the Kristallnacht, uh, the persecution and then extermination of Jews within Germany's borders are, is okay. It's just the fact that he kept, you know, he yeah. wanted to go into Poland. It and was, man, it was, I mean. Now, he did, she didn't explicitly in this quote that they're bringing up say those things, but... It can at least be implied that she didn't really have a problem with it. She doesn't see a problem with what happened as long as he didn't take that outside of Germany's borders, which is insane. I mean, it's kind of about how some people aren't Germans, actually. Exactly. Now, and, and the Daily Wire didn't fire her after that. They no. Fi they, only, they fired her after her criticism of Israel, but not the Hitler apologia. Um, and we should just say there is also the chance that she's just incredibly stupid. But I don't know. I don't think she's that. We'll see some evidence of what Sam Cedar has to say about her intelligence coming up. That stupid, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't think she's smart, but Can I don't think she's that stupid. Candace Owens, a.k.a. Red Pill Black, as she uh, entered the uh, this uh, ecosystem uh, named as. Now, with all that said, now maybe, you know, this could be a lucrative thing. Who knows? But um, I'm sure she learned her lesson about touting the uh, plans of Hitler uh, back in the day. In fact, let's check in on her right now. Um, she's uh, talking with uh, GB News' Stephen Ed Edgington. Now, back in the day, she was thought there was a problem with uh, Hitler's expansionist uh, program. Not so much what was he was doing inside of Germany, but the expansionist part. Um, so that was problematic back in the day. But these days, eh, who really should have cared? In the 1930s, there was another America first movement, sort of isolationist movement saying we mustn't go to war in Europe again after, after the First World War. Do you think that those America first supporters then were right? Do you think that America shouldn't have gone into that Second World War? Yeah, and, and that is a radical statement. People don't know how to deal with that because we've all been so brainwashed by the school system to believe that, well, look how great things are. Let me ask you about your country. Do you think that your country has become greater since? Has our country become greater? Pause it for one second. Now, there's two different things here to break down. Yeah. 
One is the idea whether we should have entered uh, World War II. And the other is, did World War II make us greater? Undoubtedly, yes. Well, just relative to well, American let's, let's power. To now, in terms of, there's a couple of things going on here. In terms of, did World War II make the United States greater? And most people would say yes. The United States became a superpower and the most powerful superpower after World War II. Now, there's also the flip side of that. That is an argument that I think that Candace Owens is trying to make. She doesn't make it very well here. But that after World War II, the United States then became the policeman of the world. And I would agree with Candace Owens and some of these other right-wing pundits who also are agreeing with people on the left, and I don't mean the Democratic Party, people actually on the left, who are upset with the wars that the United States has been involved in in the last few decades that haven't done anything to improve the lives of people in the United States. The isolationists today, I don't think, are necessarily wrong, and we had isolationists when World War II was going on before the bombing of Pearl Harbor. There were a lot of people that saying in the United States that we shouldn't get involved in what was going on with Europe. But once Japan bombed the United States, then all but the most isolationist of isolationists, and even Candace Owens admits that she is not this isolationist, all but the most extreme isolationists understood that the United States was being dragged into World War II, whether we liked it or not. The second, let's get to, I mean, there's a reason why the 20th century was called the American century. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. But, um, and the, the we'll, we'll get to that in a moment, but something happened just before we entered World War II. And it is called, and maybe you've never heard of this, it's called Pearl Harbor. Mm. The day of, and nobody can remember it. It's, it's now, it is a, a holiday. The only reason why I remember it is because it happens to be also the birthday of my, my uh, sister. Otherwise, I would have completely forgotten about the day that uh, Japan um, bombed uh, our country. And now, can you imagine if Japan, or any country for that matter, was to bomb a military base of the U.S. and Joe Biden just said like, nah, nope. not gonna, not gonna. Everybody have focus on domestic things. Now you could argue that uh, FDR should have known, or FDR did know, and wanted it as a pretense, but it's not like FDR went over and uh, said to the emperor, hey, I've got a deal for you. Come and bomb us, and we'll jump into the war, and we'll just wait to get into the Pacific for a couple of years. That's not what happened. Um, so her understanding of history and the idea that she would have been as an America firster there saying, don't enter into the war. Even after Pearl Harbor. <laughs> even after Pearl Harbor. Now, there were a, a significant number of uh, American fir firsters who said, don't go into the war. Let Hitler be Hitler, essentially. Right. Yeah. And there was another term for them, and that was Nazi sympathizers. Yep. Fascist sympathizers or fascists. But OK, so that's the first part. The second part is the way you assess whether we should have gone into that war is whether we're better. Uh, uh, I mean, let's see, no Jim Crow, uh, massive, I mean, just world power, just domination of world power. Commerce. And also, let's say domestically, let's be clear, we had the greatest expansion of the middle class yep. in the history of this country in the wake of World War II. World War II helped the United States. Yeah. Now, um, did it help other countries well yes it did um were there problems that came out of it yes i mean of course i think we got you know uh, uh the uh, british empire ended up uh, chopping up a lot of different countries creating a lot of conflicts um but she doesn't seem to care about what happens with other countries so yes undoubtedly it did. 
Yeah, Candace Owens has demonstrated over and over again that, okay, she's America first, which that is fine, but she also doesn't seem to care anything about other countries at all. So if she had been, it's, you know, we can't say this for certain, but it's pretty easy to surmise if she had been somebody who was alive during World War II, she would have been saying, no, let Hitler do what he's going to do to Europe. That likely would have been the stance that Candace Owens would have taken if she was alive back then. It did. From a purely self-interested standpoint, that really worked for us. <laughs> now, World War II may not have helped Great Britain in terms of like their empire, but I also think that they probably would have entered the war because of all the massive bombing. Yeah. Bombing of London? <laughs> yes. That was kind of I, a big deal. Which she apparently has no idea about. No. Start second world war. Yeah, and and that is a radical statement. People don't know how to deal with that because we've all been so brainwashed by the school system to believe that. Well, look how great things are. Let me ask you about your country. Do you think that your country has become greater since? Has our country become greater since? Absolutely not. You know this whole idea of international liberalism. Now it's not just about your problems; it's about solving the world's problems. Let's make sure that in Positive Pakistan story. there's a trans flag. Britain, if America hadn't entered the world war, would be worse off than even the post-war, like, winding down of their colonial Because it was existential from them from a just geographic perspective. Yeah, the idea that Candace Owens has that if the United States hadn't gotten involved to help defeat Hitler and Nazi Germany, that England would somehow be better off than they are right now is insane. They'd almost certainly be worse off. I mean, after 70 years, maybe they would have improved significantly, but probably not to the degree of England being where they are now. So this is a pretty ridiculous stance by Candace Owens. She doesn't really know what she's talking about. Now, to say that's not to say that the United States and the United Kingdom don't have problems. They do. The, the problems that we have right now don't stem from our involvement in World War II. Our country become greater since? Absolutely not. You know, this whole idea of international liberalism. Now it's not just about your problems, it's about solving the world's problems. Let's make sure that in Pakistan there's a trans flag waving. No, I actually, if, if Pakistan does not want to wave a trans flag, I don't even want to wave a trans flag, but why is this my business? And they're constantly trying to pollute you to make you think that it is your business. No, I actually am comfortable if that's going to be the, the newest smear that I have to wear, that we're isolationists. Good, good. I want to be concerned with just America's problems. As soon as those get resolved, I'm happy to pick up our head and say, oh, well, you know what? There are friends over there in the UK. Let's now, I would agree with Candace Owens about much of what's been going on in the United States is really not any of the United States business, or I should say it should not be the United States business, but our government has made it our business and we've wasted trillions of dollars and killed thousands and thousands and thousands of people in those countries and had thousands of our people die and be wounded. So I agree with her on that. If you want to say, hey, let's stay out of what's going on in the Middle East. It's not a real threat to the United States. I agree. I think Candace Owens is right about that. See, let's see how they're doing if we can help them. But America first. But Japan did attack Pearl Harbor, a... so presumably you would have reacted to that. Yeah, I mean, yes. Look, I think, of course, if you're ever talking about it. So then Candace Owens completely changes her tune when he brings, she said, oh, we should have stayed out of World War II. Oh, but Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. So, yeah, we had to retaliate. Okay. So which is it? We should have been in World War II or we, we should not. Candace Owens, she... She doesn't know what she's talking about. A threat in terms of your nation being attacked, you, you should always have an equal response. Hold on, go but back. I, I spoke moment, over, wait, wait, what did, what, did he reference? Did he reference Pearl Harbor? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't go this far into the clip. Uh, <laughs> she forgot that Pearl Harbor happened when she talking about World did. War II. This is... She thought it was like Hitler wanted to put a train. Like Sam Cedar said, she's pretty dumb. She's pretty dumb and she doesn't, and Candace Owens doesn't know history. First. But Japan did attack Pearl Harbor, so presumably you would have reacted to that. Yeah, I mean, yes, look, I think, of oh. course, if you're ever talking about a threat in terms of. Of course. Of, oh, of course. Nation no, no, pause it. Of course. You... I wasn't talking that, that part of World War II. I was talking, I mean, it's not like 
He said, as an example, it was specifically World War II. I mean, the level of stupidity, it's just shocking. Yeah. Sam, Su- Sam Cedar is right. Candace Owens, at least in this area, is dumb. Yeah. Go ahead. Attack Pearl Harbor. So presumably you would have reacted to that. Yeah, I mean, yes. Look, okay. I think, of course, if you're ever talking about a threat in terms of your nation being attacked, you you should always have an equal response. But at the moment, so being, but, was just. But, but well, a response was just right. Do you, does the response necessarily dictate a world war? These are questions that should be relegated, I think, to an academic discussion. These would. Be- well, Candace Owens is showing how little she knows here. It's not like Japan attacked us. And then the United States could just go and be involved in this war with Japan. Japan was allied with Germany and there were already multiple countries involved at this point. So it wasn't like it was just the United States versus Japan. It was Germany and Europe involved in this as well. And the United States got dragged into all of this. So Candace Owens doesn't know what she's talking about. It would be interesting academic discussions. I'd love to get a bunch of people Ooh, you know, to play out those scenarios. What if we had just responded to How Japan? Would you, to you know, I haven't had the time to sit down and think about it, and I definitely okay, don't want okay, to right, right, right. We just need that. So now Candace Owens is saying she didn't have the time to, you know, it's she World War II ended decades and decades and decades ago, way before Candace Owens was born, and she couldn't read up a little bit on this if she's going to be speaking on this topic in an interview she just candace owens just shows how ignorant she is on this topic and sam cedar and emma viglin and the rest of the majority report crew i think did a really good job of pointing out how little candace owens knows about this subject there are some things that she is correct about i believe in her opinion that we should now be more isolationist. I think the majority of Americans would agree with her that we don't want to continue wasting our tax dollars and lives on some of these wars abroad with countries that did not attack us. But World War II was very different. This idea of Candace Owens that we could have been isolationist then or just had a select war with just Japan is completely wrong. But what do you think? Do you agree with Candace Owens here? Does, is she correct about World War II? Do you agree with Sam Cedar, Emma Viglin, and the rest of the majority report people saying that Candace Owens is stupid and she doesn't know what she's talking about? Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. Give me your comments, what you think about Candace Owens, and I will see you in the next video.